life is a fight. Today, uh, we're continuing on with our unofficial Sancerre week here at Rewind. And since it's Wednesday, we're going to learn a little bit, a brief little bit, about the region known as Sancerre. As usual, let's bring in the Rewind Factboard 2.0 which hopefully has all of its glitches out of its system by this point, and have it help us out on our first regional focus on... Sancerre is a French AOC, or AOP. Let's see how my French is. Appellation d'origine contrôlée, uh, which I believe has been renamed to the AOP system, which I forget what AOP stands for, so... AOC is what it used to be called. That's what most people still call it. It's only in the European Union that AOP has become the standard. Although we'll see on Friday that one of the Sanseis that I bought at Costco is under the AOP name, whereas the Kirkland signature is still under the AOC name. Yeah, you know me. Sanseir is made up of 14 communes in the eastern part of the Loire Valley on the left bank of the Loire River. The most common Sanseir wines are whites, and usually made up of 100% Sauvignon Blanc. Some Pinot Noir is grown there as well, which is used to make either a red or rosé wine, which makes up less than 20% of wine production in Sancerre. And the qualities of the rosé are often compared to that of a Beaujolais. A Sancerre Blanc, or the white Sancerre, rose to popularity in the late 1970s, early 1980s, working its way through Parisian bistros and eventually cementing itself as an excellent white around the world. Yes, too soon. What What is wrong with you? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, Sancerre has been a grape growing region since the ancient Roman times, and it grew red grapes and made white wine from a table white grape up until the mid 20th century when Phloxera destroyed most of the vineyards, and the vineyards had to be replanted. The growers in the region decided to plant Sauvignon Blanc instead because they figured it suited the area better than the reds that they had been growing previously. And while there are many varied terroirs of the region, there are three distinct growing areas. Um, the Western Sancerre vineyards have a clay and limestone soil. Between there and the town of Sancerre, there is the second distinct growing area, which is high in gravel and limestone, which produce very delicate white wines. And finally, in and around the town of Sancerre, there are flint-rich soils, which yield ageable wines that have a very perfumey aroma. That's a question for a soils episode. As of 2012, there are about 3,000 acres of... As of 2012, there are about 3,000 acres of vines planted in Sancerre. Is that, is that the first fact that, that this board has produced? Wow. And finally, about the wine, uh, the classic profile of Sancerre Blanc is a bone dry, highly aromatic uh, wine with intense flavors, uh, generally of peach and gooseberries. And it's back. Sancerre Rouge is typically a light to medium bodied red with floral aromas and delicate flavors. And finally, the rosés, which are also based off of Pinot Noir, are described as dry and light bodied with raspberry and strawberry notes or earlier like I said, it was compared to Beaujolais. And finally, in recent years, overproduction of the white wine has led to a variable quality coming from Sancerre, uh, with the Sauvignon Blanc's flavor profiles uh, that aren't much different from generic Sauv Blanc from elsewhere in the Loire Valley. And that, my friends, is all you really need to know about a quick informational episode for our unofficial Sancerre week here at Rewind. And let me know if you want to learn more about Sancerre. I can send you some links to go find more deeper in-depth knowledge 
or answer your questions myself. Uh, remember, you can find me here on YouTube by going to youtube.com slash rewind show. Please subscribe while you're here. Leave me a like. It really helps me out in the algorithm and share with your friends as well as click the bell icon to get notified when new episodes get released every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. You're going to want that on so that you see the Kirkland Signature Brand Sancerre review this Friday. Very important stuff. Also, you can find me over on IGTV where these episodes get uploaded on Instagram at at Rewind Show. And you can find me over on Twitter by going to at B Schwitty. This has been Rewind. My name is B Schwitty. And I'll catch you next time. Thank you.